What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. I think I'm going to start a support group for adult children who were raised by bougie black mothers. Because let's talk about what it's like to be raised by a bougie black mom, specifically a toxic bougie black mom because it is such a particular type of pain and i don't hear it talked about that often especially if you are the daughter of a woman who was like this if your mom reminded you of every character lynn whitfield plays in a movie this video is for you growing up with a mom who is controlling superficial image conscious materialistic i feel like most of us our brains have been completely warped, especially when we were kids. And if you had a mom like this, then you know these women are what I like to call masters of disguise. The way that they act with others outside of the house and the way that they are behind closed doors are two different people. And it can be so frustrating having a mom like this because if you ever go to somebody and try to talk about your experiences or the pain that she has caused you because she wears the mask so well, nobody believes you. They'll say, but your mom is so nice. She brings cupcakes to your class all the time. She's head of the PTA. Even your extended family will not believe you because if you are not living under the same roof as them, they will not see that other side. They are so good at putting up a front. Like they literally should have went into espionage and not motherhood. So pretty much anytime you try to speak your truth, everyone's gonna invalidate you. Everyone's gonna say, oh, you're exaggerating. Oh, everybody fights with their mother. And at times you will even start to believe, am I overreacting? Am I just too sensitive? Until you get older and you realize not only were you brainwashed but your mom is insane okay, part two. toxic bougie black mothers part two so growing up with a mom like this they are major control freaks whatever they say goes and even if you grew up with the dad in the house it was like they were just there they really had no say on any major decisions when it came to us as kids and that's because if our toxic moms did not get their ways, World War VII was gonna break out. And since they're such control freaks, by the time we were like three, they already planned out who we were gonna be. And it's not about, oh, I think this is what's best for you. It's all in their self-interest. It's about what's gonna get them the most praise and give them the most validation from other people. So when you start to grow up and you're starting to come into your own identity because you are a human, if it does not align with whatever plans in their head that they had about you, they will bully you. And once again, they are so image savvy that nobody would believe the stuff that comes out of your mom's mouth. And they are absolutely hyper fixated on their daughter's looks. I'm going to have to make toxic bougie black moms part three. So moms like these micromanage every aspect of their daughter's appearance. They are constantly policing what you're wearing, how your hair looks, how you walk, how you talk, etc. Don't get me wrong, I don't think there is a problem with wanting your kids to be well-groomed and have nice clothes and teaching them good manners and like basic dining etiquette. But these kind of moms, they take it to a whole nother level. And it feels like as a kid, like you cannot be carefree. You are always having to like be on. You literally have to perform for people and constantly be a perfect child also tend to give more attention to the children that they deem more attractive and a lot of times they are colorist yeah i said it moms like these they tend to favor their children who are lighter skinned i've seen it too many times you cannot tell me i'm not telling the truth and it's crazy because they condition you your whole life to really prioritize your looks and your appearance but once you grow up and you're considered attractive like by society they will start to resent you for your looks They'll start accusing you of being fast. They will compete with you for male attention, or they will just do everything in their power to humble you. And it just feels like you are constantly doing something wrong because they are so critical. And let's be honest, a lot of the things that they disapproved of and criticized us for were rooted in anti-blackness, misogyny, homophobia, and classism. So not only are you being brainwashed to hate yourself, you are also being taught to hate your blackness. You are being taught to be catty with other women and you are taught to have a lack of empathy for lower income people. Up with a bougie black mother part four. This subject is really layered and it gets really complicated as I explain it more. And I know how TikTok is about certain words. So I have just decided to put a full length video up on my YouTube. The link is in my bio. My username is Hey Miss Kelsey, just like my TikTok name. And I'm going to let you guys know right now, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. I talk about a lot of sensitive subjects because a lot of our moms are not just like this because they're narcissists. I know a lot of people were saying that in the first video, but it's deeper than just narcissism. It's generational trauma. It's, it's a lot of different stuff. The craziest part about this is this video was put out at least eight months ago, ladies and gentlemen. It talks about the toxic behavior of the bourgeois black woman, as uh, Dr. Umar would say, but it talks about them being very controlling, very image conscious, 
materialistic. It also talks about the black woman that's Vujay Swa wearing a mask and people won't believe that you're talking about this particular woman unless you had an outlet and then every once in a while you're gonna see what type of woman that we are dealing with on a daily basis in the black community now you might get up on the internet just like me i get up here on this internet and i'll say some things thinking that i'm talking to you know what i'm saying i'm speaking preaching to the church but all the time i'm not preaching to the church and somebody can take my stuff and make me look like I'm racist, make me look like I'm anti-gay, make me look like a whole lot of things. But one thing they can never make me look like is a bad bitch. But let me tell you all this though. She also says that people won't believe you unless they live in the house, even your extended family. We all got those cousins that we look up to. Oh, that's my cousin. He wears suits all the time. That's my cousin. All she does is wear a nice hats every time she steps out the door. Her perfume just smells so beautiful to me and everybody else. We all know that it's very expensive. And another thing she talked about is even the father, even if a father was in the house, the father could be considered as being weak. Maybe that's why Ebony K. Williams is going around here with that white man because she know that she can walk all over him. She's 39 years old and she's not a mom. I can just imagine the things that she will say to her children when, if she does have them. And this young lady also talks about the fact that the moms out here will bully the kids, man. You know, you wouldn't want to be born into a house like this. Even you can have all the best things in the world. But this mom right here, man, this mom right here can drive you insane and probably drive you to kill yourself if you feel that's necessary. I don't think that you should do anything like that. But I've heard of cases like that where bougie moms have caused their kids to commit suicide. Now, this is a real big problem in the black community. It was just brought back into the, the headlights of the black community with Miss Ebony K. Williams saying what she had to say about a bus driver, ladies and gentlemen. She also talks about the fact that these moms will give more respect and, and give more care to lighter skinned children, man. I'm not sure if that's true, but, you know, it could be like that. She's... A witness. I'm not a witness to that because look at me. I'm black as fuck, y'all. So I'm not a witness to that. But my lighter skinned brothers, did they get more leniency than me? Or was it because I was the oldest? I'm not sure. I'm thinking it was because I was the oldest. I'm not thinking it was because they were lighter skinned than me and my mom was lighter skinned than me. But my dad is black as fuck. So guess what? The apple don't fall far from the tree. So I'm dark skinned as hell. The young lady also mentioned the fact that once you grow up and become beautiful in your own reflection, the moms can hate you. These moms sometimes vie for attention from men, from their daughters. Now, that's true. We don't even have to be a real bougie motherfucker to understand that, right? Look at Black China and her mom. Black China's mom is you know, competing for men with her daughter. That shit just don't add up. And that's exactly what's going on. And if Ebony K. Williams has a daughter, well, she'll be old as hell by the time her daughter turns 20. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be old as hell unless she start having those babies now. But she still will be old as hell because she's 40 right now and she don't have a child. So by the time her child turns 20, her child won't have to worry about that part. But the thing that really got me the most that this young lady said is that these moms are anti-black, misogynistic, anti-gay. They teach you to hate your blackness. They're catty with women. And they have a lack of empathy for people that's on the lower income scale, man. And that's exactly the message that Ebony K. Williams put out there the other day, man. It is crazy as hell to me, y'all. I don't understand it. But I get it. I've seen it happen before. I know people who she's talking about. In fact, I know a bougie chick from my old neighborhood who was so bougie, she ended up giving her kids one of the houses and she would come over there and, and criticize the kids on what they doing in the house. The kids had to get the hell up out the house. I don't know if this is really connected together, but what I can say is what this young lady said on this show and what Ebony K. Williams said the other day, it makes a whole lot of sense to me. And you know, another thing is, a lot of people was getting on DJ Envy saying that he was in his feminine feelings when Ebony K. Williams was on the show. But nobody said that Ebony K. Williams was in her masculine energy while she was on the show arguing back and forth with everybody. 
She never let nobody talk. She always wanted to talk over everybody during the whole show. And it shows to me that she's the type of woman that I wouldn't get along with, probably because I like to smoke and drink, you know what I'm saying? They say, hey, you know what I'm saying, bitch, shut the fuck up. But yo, that's me, man. This young lady right here hit the nail on the head, man. These people are bougie swap. You know what I'm saying? They they bad bitches. They divas. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the exact meaning of a bad bitch today. Is a diva from yesterday. I don't know, man. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this whole entire situation. In the comment section, I'll be back later with more news and commentary. It's your homeboy, Love from the Go. Peace. Fresh, I apply the pressure, yeah, fresh, fresh, I apply the pressure.